You may have heard about the blunder of Pesilso against Amitabotoi in semi-final filler Musumung Fide Grand Prix tournament. This short video is about that blunder, not about the opening preparation or the middle game. So let's jump right into it. Wesley is up a pawn right now, but not a very healthy pawn. But the sale is a good position, sacrifice a temporary pawn, and soon gets back that pawn while it is a small little tactic. So Wesley is up a pawn, but uh, down bishop pair, and and d pawn of Wesley is very weak. So he doesn't want to retreat the bishop, and he makes a beautiful blunder. Can you spot that beautiful blunder? It's a very aggressive move, and very nice move, and hard to see why it is blunder. Yes, knight h4 is the move. After knight h4, of course you cannot capture this bishop because then your queen is gonna. You cannot also capture the knight because this is a mate. You cannot even play queen. Uh, you cannot get rid of the fork by playing queen c3 because then knight comes in, gives uh, a couple of checks, and then queen jumps in. Let me tell you the idea. The black wants to play uh, queen e5 and deliver mate at h1. This is why he plays queen f5 and white should stop but then the rook is gunner you cannot move this rook away because then this is a mate so white has to sacrifice the rook for exchange but then this is just losing position for white then if everything is losing for white why white is winning in this position actually right and i mean Tabata finds the best move in less than a minute can you find the best move Yes, rook d3 is a killer move. At this position, there is no fork anymore because rook takes. If you take, then this is a mating threat. You have to defend the mate and lose the bishop. Also, also you cannot retreat the bishop because this time we just simply captured the knight and this is not mate anymore. Only black can be mated. So what Wesley played was to play queen g4. That shows resistance. And there is only one good move in this position again. Yes, queen c3 attacking the weak pawn. And this is mating turret. And uh, soon we will kick the queen. And we also threaten him to win the bishop. So bishop should move. Moves with the turret the best. And black and white says that capture my bishop. Yeah, of course you cannot capture the bishop, this is a mate. So black moves the uh, queen away, white restricts the queen, and black retreats the bitch, no good knight. Notice that black cannot wait there because soon white will kick the uh, queen away and wins, uh, I don't know, for example. You cannot play it carelessly because then you will lose a, you will lose the whole game. I mean, you cannot move the queen anywhere. Anywhere you move, then this is a mate. So this is why Wesley defends that. Oh, sorry. Wesley defends that pawn with a knight, but then queen comes in and knight is pinned and cannot move. Next move, uh, rook also joins the attack and it's um, a killer. Wesley says that okay, let's exchange. They exchange and after a4, black resigns. Looks very uh, simple position that both sides have the same amount of material, right? But actually, white has a very good A and B pawn, has a bishop pair, can push them forward, can push the pawns forward and win a piece. For example, just to show you uh, one line, and we start to march these pawns and black cannot defend the pawns because, yeah, losing a whole lot of material in this position. So Wesley resigned at move 30, but it was a beautiful blunder by him. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like. And if you like to see more of such videos, then please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.